Hi there, my name is Laura and welcome to another video. Today we're going to do a position review on some photographs that someone sent in. So let's get started. Let's take a look at what's happening in the video. We've got a couple of videos here. Let's take a look and see what's going on. She's coming off the kickboards of the wall onto a a jump. So she's coming along the long side, outside rain and leg to get him off the wall, and then over top of the jump, and then away. Really things that I really like about this, love the way she gets the horse off the wall, nice jump, and lands on the correct lead. That's a bonus that you land on the correct lead. Particularly if you're doing the hunters, you like to be able to land on that lead rather than having that flow be dis disrupted by a, a lead change. So let's take a look. There's a first thing that I noticed when she's coming off the wall. Let's just go back there a little bit. I want to go back to the where she's coming off the wall. Right there. Don't know if you noticed that or not. That the horse just gave one little shake of its head. And that is a sign of a uh, resistance. I'm just rolling it back. You can see right there. see the horse shaking its head. Could be that there's something bothering him. I don't know what type of bit that is. Maybe something in the bit. Maybe his teeth are bothering it. Maybe it just doesn't want to do it that day. Maybe you're asking a little bit more. You know, there's so many maybes that could be going on with this. But there is some resistance and some tightness there. Just for one step. But that disturbs, if you're doing the hunters, that disturbs the whole flow of the exercise. So, so let's continue on. Then something happens with your hands right here. It looks like you give a nice big, right there, nice big jerk on the horse's mouth. So you come off the track and then you give the horse a thing. I'll see if I can get it. Right there. Did you see it? Right there. Your hands go from out in front over top of the horse's withers and now they're in your lap by your hips. And that could be one reason why he was he was shaking his head. He wanted to go forward and you just said, nah, -uh, not today, you're not. Excellent. So back here, I guess you kind of saw a spot. Good. And you rode him right to the base of your jump. Sometimes that's good. But because you did that, you got in a little close. And he didn't jump very nicely. And also, uh, the because you got in a little close, it's not that bad. You are standing up in your stirrups to make sure you stay with him over top of the jump. And you can see that quite clearly here where you are, if you took the horse away, you'd just be totally standing up. Standing up in your stirrups. And that just happens for a split second while you're taking off, right over top of the jump. And I want to draw attention to the horse's head and neck. You need more release over top of the jump so that you don't get the horse caught in the horse's mouth. And you can see that the horse's head and neck is on the vertical and the horse's head and neck should be stretching out more getting to get over top of that jump. And the horse's head doesn't move. I'm moving slow motion. There it stretches out. So right at this point right here your hand should be on the horse's neck. They're on the neck. They're on the neck. They're on the neck. They're on the neck. The hands are on the neck. And then just before he lands, or just as you're landing on the ground, your hands pop off the horse's neck. So there you can see, you know, when you, when you slow it down and you just look by frame by frame by frame, it's easy to pick up on these things. So when you're landing, you can see that the horse's mouth is open. Keep your hands there, but what happens is you open your body up too soon, 
and you get him in the mouth. Really love this photograph because it looks like she is so focused on looking at her next jump. Love that. Love that look on her face that she's, you know what, she's going to get there. You can see daylight between the pommel of the saddle and the, her seat, which means that she is perching up and getting way and well ahead of the horse. Try to keep your seat closer to the seat of the saddle so that you're not too far ahead of the horse. Your lower leg looks good. like to see the weight down in your heels a little bit more. Beautiful soft hand and love the way you have your hands pressed against the neck. Looks like you got a neck strap on there. That's pretty nice. And also, excellent. I love this. Love seeing horses with hackamores on. So for this rider and horse, I'd like to see them jump with a, a martingale strap or a stirrup leather around the horse's neck, some sort of neck strap, and really and hook your fingers over around the neck strap so that you can understand how to keep your hands from coming back. You open up too early on landing, you have to keep yourself in a forward position until the horse is landing, and to do that, keep your hands on the martingale strap or stirrup leather around the horse's neck so that you can stay with the horse. You open up your body too soon. There's a few things that are a little bit bothersome for me about this video. As a safety thing, you have to have, or you should have, remove the cups off of the jumps that are in the arena that don't have poles on them. And you can see here that there are jumps, and you are jumping a jump that has a cup on it without a pole in there. And, and I understand that it, you know, maybe it just fell, fell off, or maybe you're having some trouble. But uh, if there's not a pole in the cup, take the cup off to jump a jump make sure that there's poles in the cups if the cups are empty it's dangerous or it could be dangerous if the horse tripped stumbled fell shied stopped refused and if you came off that is something that could get uh, caught in your clothing or worse you could have an accident and even those the plastic pins uh, if your horse fell, tripped and fell, that could hurt the horse or it could hurt you. So this is a safety thing and if there's not a pole on the jump cup, take the jump cups off the jumps. Particularly if you're jumping the jump. Don't do that. It's, it's not safe. My name is Laura and if you like to improve your riding and training or if you have a couple photos that you'd like to get position, a position review done, please send me an email. Thistleridge at hotmail.com Got any questions? I'm here to answer your questions. Now, go use this stuff. Go hug your horse. Go use this stuff.